Hi, my name is Diane Kim. I am a research associate at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. The paper I will be presenting today is titled Transfer Learning Approach for Bonnet Detection Based on Recurrent Variation or Autoencoder. The main topic of this paper is Bonnet Detection. Bonnet is one of the, the most significant threats to the cyber security. Bot masters hijack other machines and command to act together to attack more machines. Botnet spreads malware and ransomware by conducting DDoS, click fraud, spamming, and crypto mining. Moreover, the malicious software for infecting a machine and operating botnet has evolved to evade detection. Mainly, the protocols used by botnet as communication channels are different, such as IRC, P2P, and HTTP. And the way of distributing malware are also different from botnet to botnet. Therefore, it is required to bond detect botnets, which have various uh, attack strategy to secure cyber cyberspace. There have been many studies introduce various methodologies for botnet detection, often classified in two types. Uh, signature-based uh, methodology and normally-based methodology. Uh, signature-based methodology detect botnet malicious connections by referencing a set of rules. Although this approach requires a relatively small amount of computation, it is significantly restricted to detect well-known botnets only. On the other hand, only based techniques identify botnets by detecting unusual system behaviors such as high network latency and high volumes of traffic. As a tool for normally detection, machine learning methods have been applied for characterizing botnet behaviors. This kind of approach is what we focus on this paper. Normally, detection based on supervised learning has shown promising results with a high degree of accuracy for detecting botnets. But one complication is that supervised learning assumes the provision of data labels to classify, which are often unavailable in practice. Indeed, anomalies in network traffic are difficult to obtain in terms of scarcity of occurrence and difficulty in classification. Another line of anomaly detection based on machine learning, such as autoencoder and variational autoencoder and one class supporter support vector machines, relies on semi-supervised learning that constructs a learning model only using normal profiles or a few of normal profiles, which is much straightforward to collect. However, the detection performance is generally lower than supervised learning techniques. Another possible solution to address the shortage of labels would be the use of transfer learning, which utilizes label data available in another domain called source domain for the domain of interest called target domain. <clears throat> Even in the situation where there is insufficient label data in the target domain, transfer learning allows us to construct a learning model without the expensive data labeling effort via knowledge transfer. With this benefit, several transfer normally detection methods have been proposed in many papers. However, the previous studies focused on text classification speech recognition, and image classification. Few studies cope with applying transfer learning for botnet detection. However, these previous methods tend to depending on live techniques, such as calculating similarity or heuristic methods, where it is hard to expect reliable performance. Furthermore, some of them require both normal and anomalous instance for source and target domains, which limits its utilization. 
In this paper, we propose a numbered bomb net detection method that can be performed on cases with no anomalies in the target domain. Moreover, we propose a training method that does not need to be marked as number or a number in the target domain. We have two main contributions in this paper. First, we, trans we present a transfer learning framework for botnet detection that is capable to construct a learning model without the need of the labor information for the associated data in the target domain. In particular, we use recount variation of time color model to obtain anomaly scores, for instance, from both source and target domains. Second, we verify the presented detection approach can detect potential boundness in the new, ne new network monitoring data set as the target domain with the knowledge transferred from the popular data set of CT13 as the source domain. <coughs> uh, before talk talking about the uh, proposed model, uh, I want to introduce the, <clears throat> the transfer learning and recurrent variation on autoencoder, uh, which uh, we use in this paper. Uh, transfer learning is one of the machine learning techniques which are utilized in the situation where we have a classification or a regression tasks in one domain of interest but we only have sufficient label data in different domains where the radar data may follow a different data distribution. The transfer learning can be divided into three categories according to source, target domain, labor existence, and types of tasks. Uh, <clears throat> On the other hand, RVA is a structure of combining sequence to sequence with RVA, whose encoder and decoder consist of recurrent neural network model. <clears throat> uh, we use the RVA structure to obtain MOLLE score for instance of source and target domain. As RVA is trained with normal samples, the reconstruction errors of normal instance are expected to be lower than the reconstruction errors of normalist instance. In network intrusion detection system method have been widely studied. Uh, one of the other design a bonded decision engine which determines any divergence or statistical deviations which are based on normal network behaviors over network traffic, traffic data. However, the method cannot help failing to detect evolving bondnet. Above R, Z is one of the most popular network intrusion detection system, which is a monitoring system for detecting network intruders in real time. However, Z is not the IDS built for detecting bombnet. Thus, the function of the software is not sufficient to be used as a bombnet detection system. The various machine learning method aim to provide generalized bombnet detection system which are robust on previously unseen bounded. Uh, for example, variational or autoencoder and autoencoder based method have been proposed as semi-supervised learning technique for botnet detection. And recurrent neural network based method as supervised learning framework are utilized so as to consider periodicity of network traffic data and moreover, other supervised learning and money detection methods such as random forest and neural network have been introduced. Although these methods provide impressive improvement on bondnet detection, they usually require a fully labeled data set, which is hard to obtain due to lack of labeled data on changing network traffic. Some studies suggested making use of transfer learning and botnet detection. However, 
Um, many methods depend on live techniques, such as calculating similarity between each instance in the source and the target domain, which requires high computation cost. A few methods use neural networks in transfer learning. Even though this approach is effective, the manners are quite different from the proposed method in that they use pre-trained parameters on image data set. The author, authors propose transfer learning framework using deep neural network, but uh, this approach requires label data set for both source and target domain country to the proposed method. So we propose a novel transfer botnet detection system which uses RVA as a knowledge detector trained via transfer learning. From the anomaly detector, we can obtain anomaly scores given each instance which consider reconstruction error from RVA. The anomaly detector RVA is given pre-processed flow-based features. These flow-based features are input in the order of time because the RNN model is sensitive to the order, order of the input. In the botnet detection system, the encoder is expected to be trained in a way of distilling the common characteristic within the sequential data into latent variable Z. As we only use normal samples for training, we expect that the reconstruction errors of normal samples are larger than that of normal samples. So we collect each reconstruction loss, then estimate uh, distribution in the validation space. Uh, we estimate two distributions here. Uh, First, uh, we estimate the normal samples distribution, and second, we estimate the abnormal uh, samples distribution. And in the testing phase, we get two likelihood for each instance from normal and normless distributions. Ultimately, the network traffic flow data can be labeled by comparing the two values. And this is the process of the transfer learning. So we follow the procedure of the transfer anomaly detection method, which is suggested in Kumagai 2019. In order to adapt it to the characteristic of network traffic data, which are hard to obtain label data, we further develop the method, which is able to train without label information on the target domain. Namely, we consider two cases of training data on botnet detection. Label data set on the target domain, uh, called with label, and unlabeled data set on the target domain, we called as without label. In the both method, normal and anomalous instance in a search domain are used for training RVA at first. After calculating the gradients with a mini batch of samples, of the source domain and updating the parameters of the decoder and the encoder, we use a mini batch of samples of the target domain for training. Then we calculate and update the gradients in the same manner. And these are the equation of the objective function of the source domain. And these are notation we use in this paper. So the proposed method can be categorized into two based on whether the label data set on the target domain is necessary or not, as I mentioned before. So the overall process is identical, but transfer learning with the unlabeled data set on the target domain is different from the method with uh, the label data set on the target domain regarding that it used entire instance in the target domain for training. On the other hand, only normal instance in the target domain are made use of for training on with label method. Therefore, there is a, some difference in the objective function of the target domain of the two methods. 
In the case of search domain, the objective function on both methods are, are equal. Like this. So uh, the in the first case, uh, we use only normal instance for training, likewise other semi-supervised learning methods. The difference from the semi-supervised learning is that we realize transfer knowledge from the search domain in order to classify instance of the target domain. Therefore, we expect better result than semi-supervised learning method. Furthermore, even if there is not enough label data, uh, it might be possible to obtain compatible performance to other semi-supervised learning methods. The objective function for the target domain in with label method is formulated as the equation. And the overall process of the method is shown in algorithm one. However, the use of the method is limited in that the method requires only normal instance in the target domain. Namely, in order to obtain normal instance, we require the label data set for the target domain. And in the second method, without label method, we assume the situation where there is no label data set on the target domain. That means we cannot distinguish between normal and abnormal examples. To, do, to deal with such a case, we use an entire instance of the data set in the target domain only for the first ever epochs E. And given characteristics of data set in which the number of normal sample is much higher than the number of, number of anomalies, it is inferred that the lower instance of reconstruction errors is more likely to be normal. In order to give weight to the estim estimated normal instance, we use the <coughs> instance more than once in the following mini batch mini training. To do this, we first sort the instance by the size of reconstruction errors every mini bit, mini batch. We then select instant instance of the bottom R percentage of reconstruction errors in mini batch as the estimated normal samples and add the instance to the following mini batch training samples. In other words, the sample used in the next step of the training consists of the next step mini batch and the part of the previous samples with a lower reconstruction error. By realizing the selecting samples method, we can train the anomaly detector effectively even with an unlabeled data set on the target domain. Um, and we use the uh, these five evaluation metrics for the experiment. And uh, in terms of the evaluation data set, the existing studies on transfer learning usually use the same data set for target domains and a search domain. However, as our objective of the, the paper is detecting suspicious botnet connection on the new network monitoring data set, uh, we cannot help using target domain, which is different from source domain, since the data on the target domain cannot be labeled. So we use a CDS 13 data set as source domain, which is widely used in the latest studies for botnet detection. In this paper, we only focus scenario one to nine. Uh, that consists of a uh, botnet called Marys as in many existing studies. On the other hand, we use a network monitoring data set from a large research institute as a target domain. We call data, uh, data set K. The data set K is collected using ZIG server connected at the network border. CTS-13 ZIG data has no label contrary to the original NetFlow data, and the data set K has no labels neither. Therefore, we knew the new labeling method for the purpose of evaluating the model is necessary. So we develop labeling method that can provide the same strategy which can be applied to 
both CT13 and data set K. So, <clears throat> Uh, and so we find that the NARIS account for 84% of connection uh, with the indication of IRC line too short in weird.log uh, from the ZIG among data uh, from 13 scenarios. In addition, NARIS accounts for 82% of connection with the indication of IRC invalid uh, line among data from 13 scenarios. We infer that the most connection with the weird log indication of IRC line to short and IRC invalid line are given by NERIS. So we label the host IP address with uh, these two indications as malicious. As both CT13 ZIG dataset and dataset K are made by ZIG, the labeling method can be applied commonly to two different data sets. So uh, we, we follow the data pre-processing method, which is suggested in the KIM 2020. Uh, we process the data to use the aggregated flows uh, statistic as many existing studies. And we evaluate two variants of the proposed method with label and without label. The more, <coughs> so uh, we compare those two suggested methods with RVA is, uh, which is a semi-supervised anomaly detection method, which use only normal instance in the target domain for training. So, uh, this is our experimental result. First, we plot TISNI uh, of each instance of two data sets to justify to use uh, transfer learning in this study. To use transfer learning, two main do two domains should be related and share common characteristics. We reduce redimension of features of data from 80, 90, uh, no, 48 to 2 in order to visualize its distribution. Therefore, the distribution cannot be completely overlapping. However, uh, because data share common characteristics generated from ZIG, the two distributions are not completely separated. As a result, transfer learning, especially the application of transductive transfer learning, can show the improved performance of our semi supervised learning. Second, we validate the proposed method by comparing with semi supervised learning, which use RVA method. We find that our proposed method with label outperform RVA semi supervised learning method. Um, in particular, TPR, which is also called uh, detection rate of with label method is 0.915, while TPR of RVA method is 0 0.85. Uh, 0 0.811. Even we obtain higher detection rate with without label method 0.85. Furthermore, the proposed method with label show higher AURC than the baseline as well. This output indicates that the effectiveness of using transfer learning as we use the same RVA model and set the same hyperparameters for training. Overall, these results demonstrate that the proposed method detects suspicious bondnet better on the target domain as using transferred knowledge, which is obtained on the related domain can provide useful information for the target domain lack of training data. So in conclusion, we propose <clears throat> transfer learning framework as an effective botnet detection strategy. Transfer learning can learn on ordered data with labels and then apply the learning on new data recalls without label. This ability of working with unlabeled data is particularly useful for network security application because security issues such as botnet continue to evolve. 
In our test, we train your network on label data from CTF 13 and apply the network for normally detection on a fresh set of network monitoring, monitoring data. So, and for future study, uh, we, uh, we, we, we need to propose more systematic method uh, beyond empirical ways to improve without label method. In addition, it is potential to improve performance of the animal detector in FPR uh, measures as it shows weak performance relatively. And that is, that's all for the presentation today. And thank you for listening.